Kia ora, everyone. I'm here to talk to, we are here to talk to you about our favourite topic, which is about mana wahine. And it's about women power, yes? But it's more about balancing what we have in the world today, right? So we are from the island of Singapore and the island of Penang, Malaysia, where we live among indigenous Malays and immigrant Chinese, Indians and Eurasians. We are a network of angels investing in women to help end poverty in this world. Now, we don't look at angels as only angel investors, not the people with money, but the people, social entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs and the people who support them, they are also angels. So we are in the business of collecting angels. <laughs> <laughs> and my name is Lina, and this is Pat with me, and we're both cohort Piri Piri, and we are here together with Audrey, who is cohort Kawakawa. And we are here united, looking very different, but united in a very common mission, and that is helping to end poverty in unity with women. Next slide. So we are a network of angels, as I told you, and we're not all about exclusion, we're about inclusion, because we come from a part of the world where women have been very invisible, and they haven't been part of conversations about climate change and others. It's a very important component. So we have he for she's and she for she's. We actually have one of our angels here in the audience, Mamaru Taniya-san. Could you just stand up briefly? Yes, thank you. <laughs> and we're together hoping to do this grand massive transformative purpose of ending poverty in unity with women. Next slide. Why do we talk about poverty and why are we talking about women? As you know, with the Sustainable Development Goals, poverty is number one. So in many ways, we see that poverty is the root cause of a lot of illnesses in the world. When you talked about deforestation, often it's at the edge where people are cutting down forests to be able to uh, warm their homes or cook their meals or clean their waters, or they disperse uh, toxic stuff into the rivers, like as they're making batik, for example. They put indico uh, very toxic chemicals in the water. So it's very important to look at issues of poverty. And 70% of the poor are women. This is a data a lot of people don't realize. And yet women are the invisible infrastructures. They are the ones who walk for miles to carry water. They are the ones who do subsistence farming. They are the ones who take care of the elderly. They are the ones who do a lot. But when po progress comes through, they are the ones who are often very excluded. So we'd like to be able to have that conversation of inclusion. Next one. We also see women as multipliers. Do you know for every $1 a woman earns, up to 90% of her income goes back to her family and her community. Because women are nurturers and healers. You know, we had our previous speakers talking about what we need in the world today is a world of healing and nurturing. The other thing we found, thank you, and the other thing we found is that we have actually been very humbled in our journey. Because we've come across, you know, everyone's heard about microenterprise and microfinance. And there's actually an unconscious bias today where people only give women small amounts of money. They're not given the money to scale and do great. And yet we've come across many, many amazing women who have, as we show in this little diagram, multitudes of people under them. We have social enterprises that have 50,000 smallholder farmers all across Indonesia, not only giving livelihood, prever preserving biodiversity and preserving culture. We have people working with 1,000 weavers under them. And giving livelihood, saving girls from going into prostitution, going people into um, horrendous things. I mean, honestly, Audrey and I have been through, and, and Pat, we've gone through the journey of seeing their lives and seeing how painful their stories are. Next slide. So rather than just give you statistics, I think I really liked how Charles and Michelle talked about it, that we need to go back to the heart. And I really love Camden as well, who talked about love. So I hope in this story, we want to share with you a story of love and how as we love humanity, we need to love women. We need to love that feminine energy in our lives, in men. We want to embrace that feminine energy in men as well. But here are some of the stories of our faces of women heroes. So many, many of them. I really can't get into all of them, so I'm just going to tell you the story of one of them. Um, okay, I think we just wanted to say that because Banta in Cambodia, he, she made such um, um, good stories and impact the local community so much that we decided to actually fund her because she is so inspiring and she actually well create and make changes of the life and you know so this is just one of the social enterprise. Okay, um, basically we only focusing on sustainable fashion and why New Zealand? I think we just wanted to say that because this is 
a female and a woman friendly country, you know, and that um, we, we feel that we could help, we could learn and grow together and also able to help New Zealand to connect back into Asia, especially for women uh, social enterprise for New Zealand. And I think I wanted to say that we are actually hosting a session, actually, I think, and like Lina said, we are collecting more angels. And this, this is, the topic is balancing the two wings, and we hope that you will join us if you share the same mission, or if you want to support us as well. And um, uh, this is at 3.30, right? Yep, okay, that's it. <laughs>